once again to Anguilla on a luminary. As I believe you know, it is my privilege to serve as High Lama of this most sacred temple. I am to address you as Your Holiness, correct? Might I ask what you and your people know of my companion? Why everything, of course. We have awaited his coming ever since the day he entered this world, in the castle of Dundrasil. Waiting for him? What do you mean? I mean exactly what I say, nothing more. Tell me, do you recognize the symbol on this banner? It is the emblem of Dundrasil. Since the age of heroes, the princes of that nation have come here to train with us for six years of their youth. Your young friend was born a prince of Dundrasil. Thus did we expect him to come here as a boy and study under the great Grand Master Pang. Sadly, that was not to be. So if fate had been kinder, you would have spent a good part of your childhood here. What of his tutor, this Grand Master Pang you speak of? When the Lord of Shadows brought the World Tree low, the Master set out to summon a magical mandala to protect the temple from destruction. The spell succeeded, but its power was too great. Grand Master Pang did not return. A noble sacrifice indeed. Now that the Master is gone, it falls to me to guide you. Come to the Field of Discipline. It lies behind this hall. There is something you must see. It is a shame that the Grand Master cannot be here. I would have liked to meet one so noble. Come, let us see what His Holiness has in store. lies the field of discipline where students of Anguilla strive for enlightenment. Before we tread upon this hallowed ground, let me tell you a little of our history and of the luminary of legend himself, Erdwin. Before setting out to defeat the Dark One, Erdwin came to our temple to learn from the Wise Ones who made their homes here even then. The first Grand Master, i.e accepted him as a disciple and trained him in the secrets of spiritual realization. But he did not train alone. During his time here, he met someone. Someone who would change his fate forever. Who was this person? Another of Ai Yi's disciples. A young mage whose talent outshone that of all who had come before. A man named Morkant. 
Erdwin and Morkant would train together every day, each striving to outstrip the other. Though they were fierce rivals, they became firm friends. When their training was complete, Morkant joined with Erdwin in his quest to slay the Dark One. Without Morkant's magic, he might never have prevailed. Before setting out, they carved an inscription into this stone, a pledge of eternal friendship. It has been a treasure of ours ever since. Morkham. I have not heard the name before. Now allow me to show you to the field of discipline, if you would be so good as to follow me. Welcome to the field of discipline. Since the age of heroes, many a would-be warrior has spilt sweat and blood upon these flagstones. If your karma had been different, this is where you would have trained under Grand Master Pang, like all the princes of Dundrasil before you. I have brought you here so that you might stand in the footsteps of your ancestors. An unbroken line leading all the way back to the Age of Heroes. Even your grandfather, Lord Robert, completed his training here. The memory of his achievements shall live long in the temple's memory. His achievements? Pang was a harsh master. With this implement, disciples whose efforts were lacking were given motivation directly to their fundament. It became known as the Naughty Stick. During the course of his six years of tuition, your grandfather's right honorable posterior was paddled an unprecedented 10,000 times. The tale of Lord Robert's road to enlightenment lives on to this day. Every disciple knows that he must focus at all times, lest he face the same fate. Legendary achievement indeed. You are worried for your grandfather, yes? Do not be. Lord Robert overcame every challenge set for him by the Grand Master and emerged stronger every time. The fall of the World Tree would not have been enough to extinguish one so resilient. He is alive. I sense it. Tonight there will be a modest feast in the High Hall to celebrate your long-awaited arrival. We would be greatly honoured if you would join us. We may not be able to aid you as we would have done were Master Pang still with us, but in this respect at least, we can provide. Awake at last, hmm? It is high time we were on our way. If the Grand Master were still alive, perhaps we might have learned something to help us in our fight against the Lord of Shadows. Sadly, it was not to be.
What news of him? Forgive us, Your Holiness. The monsters on the mountain path were too strong. We were unable to reach him. I see. Your Holiness, is there a problem? Yes, Sir Hendrik. I fear there is. You see, two weeks ago a hermit visited us, unannounced, then just as suddenly departed for the top of the mountain. Hello? Whatever for? That I do not know. The moment he heard that Master Pang had passed away, he ran from the temple. He was last seen climbing the path to the summit. The mountain has become infested with monsters, emboldened and strengthened by the rise of the Lord of Shadows. It is a perilous place indeed. This being so, I dispatched a group of disciples to return him to safety. As you can see, things did not go quite as planned. I have trained all my life for a moment such as this, and yet I have failed in my first true test. I have brought shame upon angry la Might we be able to offer some assistance? I thank you for your kindness, but you are guests here. I cannot ask you to undertake such a dangerous task. A knight of Heliodor does not abandon an innocent in need. These people have shown us great kindness. It is only right that we do them a kindness in return. Would you not agree? Thank you from the bottom of my heart. But I cannot allow you to bear this burden alone. I shall come with you. We must depart for the summit of Mount Pang Lai without delay. After exiting the temple, we will take the path to the east in order to begin our ascent.
Victory is ours.